Okay, so I'm using this bottle image that I found on Stocksy, and I'm gonna try to make a label um, mock-up for it. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a rectangle, and I want this to be you know, around the size that I think the label needs to be, but I wanna keep this rectangle straight. The bottle isn't straight, and I need to make sure that this size of the rectangle that I've created is actually about the size of the label. So I made this duplicate and I'm gonna use that to like rotate it and you know get it to actually match the size of the label in the photo. So I've gotten it about the right dimensions. Um, so now I'm gonna use that um, duplicate that you know I used as just kind of a test to make sure the sizing is right and I'm gonna use that and just make sure that the original rectangle that I did create that is straight um, hasn't been rotated or anything I'm just gonna you know make that match So now I can see that they match, and now I'm gonna delete the rectangle that I rotated so I can keep the rectangle that's straight. Next, I'm gonna right click on that layer, and I'm gonna select Convert to Smart Object. So now that rectangle is a smart object, and I'm just gonna double click on that layer, and that's gonna open a new file. So now I have this perfectly straight rectangle that now I can start adding in my label design. And now I'm going to save that and then I'll go back to the original file and now you can see that my design has now been added on there and now I'm going to be able to move that um, label design down here and now I can rotate it <laughs> to make it actually align with the bottle. So I'm going to get that as close as I can to, um, you know, the edges of the label. And then I'm actually going to use the warp tool so that then I can stretch the edges. Because of course, if it looks perfectly straight, it's not going to look right since the bottle is curved. So I want to just stretch some of those edges and give it that curved shape so that it looks more realistic. So once I think it looks okay, then I'm going to change the blend mode of the layer um, of the label to multiply, um, and then it's going to kind of blend in and look more realistic. And then I might want to, you know, tweak those edges again. <laughs> Maybe the curves don't look quite perfect. Then I usually like to reduce the opacity of my layers just to like 90% so that it looks more real. And that's how you create your own mock-up.